Well, just into the newsroom, a sentence handed down tonight for the Utah County man who killed a Provo police officer back in 2019. Matt Hoover was found guilty of aggravated murder in the death of Joseph Shinners earlier this year. Tonight, he learned his fate. New specialist Shara Park joining us now live and Shara, an emotional day in the courtroom. Yeah, Ashley, it really was. This is a long time coming for the Shinners family and the Provo City Police Department. And to hear the maximum sentence imposed, now knowing that Matthew Hoover will never be eligible for parole and he'll spend his life in prison, well, this is a step towards healing for the family and that police department. It was standing room only inside the courtroom today as dozens of officers and the Shinners family attended this sentencing. It's been more than five years since Officer Shinners, who was 29 at the time was shot in Orem while trying to apprehend Hoover, who was wanted on a drug warrant and was high on meth and had rammed his truck into a police car while trying to get away. Today, we heard impact statements from Shinner's family, including his widow, Kaylin, who spoke about the devastating loss of her husband and the impact it's had on her two boys, one of which he never got to meet because it was only three days after his funeral when she learned she was pregnant. I can tell you who was hurt the most that night, though. They are two beautiful, innocent little boys. It is two boys who have years of grieving ahead of them as they realize all the things they are missing out on by not having their dad here. My youngest son said if he could say something to the judge, it was that his dad never held him or saw him run. Now, Matthew Hoover offered an apology to the Shinners family today, saying it was never his intention to harm anyone other than himself that night, January 5th of 2019, claiming he was suicidal and not wanting to go back to jail. However, the judge didn't buy that, saying his actions were premeditated and his criminal history supported his intent to do harm. We spoke with the Shinners family after the sentencing, and they felt the, uh, the apology from Hoover was insincere and said that they were grateful for today's life sentence, again, without the possibility possibility of parole. At least this part is behind us, but it'll never be behind you, but at least this part is behind us. And one thing that I want to stress is I do find relief, like I said, if my grandkids don't have to go through probation hearings down the road in 20 to 25, 30 years. I'll be long gone by then, but that, I like, I, I'm glad that happened that way. And John Shinner saying today in court that he knows his son is looking out over his family today and uh, over those who were there to support them. I also spoke with the Provo City Police Chief, Troy Beebe, today. He called Hoover a career criminal and said that he was happy with today's sentence. He said that this is the penalty that is deserved when someone kills a public servant who is out protecting society and doing what we expect our police officers to do. Live in Provo, Shara Park, KSL 5 News. Shara, thank you. Glad that that family got some justice today.